Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a tiny, tiny review on a foundation that I've been really, really liking lately, and I've been using it a lot, and I think it's amazing, so I'm going to show you which foundation I am talking about, this foundation, so now it looks empty, but that is because it was laying like this, um, this is the Maybelline New York Pure Liquid Mineral Healthy Natural Liquid Foundation. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. So this is a mineral foundation. And me personally, I'm not really a huge fan of mineral foundations. But I find that this foundation is really, really good for my skin. And it doesn't break me out at all. Uh, which mineral foundations actually usually do that. Um, even though they're not supposed to. But my skin doesn't really like mineral foundations. But this one is really good. And... It comes with Myco Minerals, um, and it also has SP SPF 18, which I'm not a huge fan of SPF in my foundation, and that is why I really never buy foundations with SPF, but I find that this is really great for summertime, so if you, me personally, I hate putting sunscreen on my face. So I would rather use a foundation with SPF 18 instead of using a sunscreen on my face because I feel like sunscreens are really thick and I don't know, I like using uh, foundations with SPF on my face instead of sunscreen. Um, I got this in the Philippines actually uh, and they have a different bottle in the Philippines than they have where I live but it's basically the same foundation. Um, this, I have the color, what color is this? It doesn't say which color it is, maybe it's said it on the packaging, but it's a lot of like Chinese things on the back, so I do not know which color this is, actually. Uh, so yeah, but basically this is what it says on the back, so if you know Chinese, then maybe you understand some of this. But anyways, I have a really light foundation because I have really light skin on my face uh, compared to my body, and uh, it has it has a yellow undertone to it. Um, and it comes with this and a pump. I know in America they come they don't come with a pump. You have to unscrew it, and that's kind of stupid, I guess. Um. But where I live, it also comes with a pump. And I am going to demonstrate to you how it actually works on my skin. So, what I like to use, uh, what brush I like to use for this foundation is just a stippling brush. Because this foundation is really liquidy. It's not thick. So, it's a light coverage. It's not even light to medium coverage. And for me, who has really... I don't know, bad skin. Um, this doesn't work very well without concealer for me. I need to use concealer over, but still I really like to use this foundation. Um, this is like perfect for summer uh, because it's so light if you don't want to use a lot of foundation and still cover a little of your skin. And it also has SPF and yeah, it's just I feel like my skin can breathe even though I have this foundation on. So what I do is I just take uh, two pumps of this on my hand, just to demonstrate for you. Now as you can see, when I go like this, you can see that it's runny. It's really, really runny. So what I actually like to do um, is I can apply this, I can apply the foundation like this, but I like it a little bit more thick. So what I do is I just take a little bit of this Clinique uh, Dramatic Different Moisturizing Gel and just like a little teeny whiny, teeny whiny, and I just mix it in just to make it a little more thicker, a little more moisturizing. As you can see it has a really yellowy tone to it because I have yellow undertones, so yeah. And what I do is I take the finger that I blended with, take some on my forehead, my nose, go like this. 
and I just basically stippled my whole face with, with this foundation um, because I find that if I use the brush directly on my hand and then on my face I feel like the brush sucks up all of the product and then I use more product than is necessary so I just apply it to my face with my fingers yeah, my brush and this is just by Sigma and I just start to lightly blend it out uh, with a stippling brush you need more time but I feel like since this is a light to medium coverage I feel like this is the best brush to use instead of like a brush like this which has really thick bristles I feel like it doesn't do me justice it's better uh, I think this brush is better with like a heavy coverage foundation um, I don't know so I just go over and with this foundation I feel like when I apply this foundation it gives a really nice shine to my face without making it look like it's oily like look at my forehead it's more like it gives it a healthy glow this foundation so yeah I'm just gonna blend the rest sorry if I'm not in the camera I'm just trying to make this the best because I'm actually going to work to use this foundation for the rest of the day uh, so I want to not make it look horrible and powder and stuff and if I turn my head you can see that my skin gets a really nice like shiny glow like healthy glow with this foundation and that's what I like so it looks very nice on my skin and uh as you can see it covers a little bit so I could like wear this like out um, if I'm just going to the grocery store or something if I want to use to just cover some of my acne and stuff I could wear this because it covers a little bit as you can see but still it doesn't cover like all of my acne scarring but to be a light covering foundation I think it's pretty good so yeah um, and after that I just apply concealer and then I apply powder bronzer blush and eye makeup and stuff so basically that is my review on this foundation I really really like this it's just a like mini review so uh, really really like this foundation it's really cheap um, and yeah if you this is like the perfect summer foundation more summer foundation than winter foundation if you don't live in like a hot country in the winter obviously but it yeah it's a really good foundation the only I would say downside side 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 to this foundation is that it it's not really long lasting so if you were only to use this foundation on your face the whole day without concealer or anything uh, I would say that it won't last the whole day. It will wear off, wear off during the day. Um, so if you have something to cover, I would recommend to use uh, concealer to not only this foundation. But that is for me the only downside. And it's a foundation that fits for everyone because it's oily people can use it and also people with dry skin this would be amazing for people with dry skin just because it gives a natural glow and um, it makes your skin very moisturizing instead of dry if you have dry skin so yeah that is my um, little review on this donation and I'll talk to you guys later bye